Girl, I've been collecting my trash for 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. Oh my God. Look at that little baby Kelly. I can't. Hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going through all my empties. All the products I've used up over the past month and boy gee golly do I have a lot. I never think I have enough and then when I sit down I'm like how do you how do you accomplish using up all those products in a month? I go through it. But these videos are my favorite to film so let's, let's get into it. videos for a while you guys and I've been doing them consistently for a while now so you guys know the drill if you don't I'll give you a little rundown I save my beauty trash and I like to review them for you let you know if I'm going to repurchase it if I've already repurchased it if I'm replacing it with something new give you a quick little rundown of each product that I've used up this month and yeah all right so my first empty that I have this month is my Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm this is my OG favorite lip gloss bomb in life like I've fallen in love with the summer Friday for sure but this one was like my favorite before then and I still absolutely love it my complaint is even if you remove this top thing you can't get down to the bottom because it doesn't dip down so I haven't removed it yet but I'm going to because I got these beauty spatulas and I've used these already with oh gosh I know I used it with um, my concealer for this one, and then I've used it with, which I'm still using it my concealer. Um, but this, I also used it with my Nutrien body lotion. So these little beauty spatula things, if you find that you have product to the end and you want to get every last drop out like me, you need these little guys. Obsessed. I got them on Amazon. But this is one of my favorite lip balms. If you can't for some reason get your hands on the Summer Friday. You're not a huge fan of the Summer Friday. This is my favorite. The Banana Kiss is my all-time. And they have a coconut one that's also really good, which is just their generic one. I've also tried the Watermelon. It's good, but not as good as the Banana Kiss, in my opinion. So I can't wait to dig into that with my little beauty specials. My only problem is I need little, like, containers. So I'm going to look for little, like, pots with lids on them on Amazon. So, yeah. Next product I have here is the Crest 3D White Brilliance Mouthwash. I liked this. I prefer the TheraBreath, which isn't whitening, but I prefer it over this. Um, personally, I just feel like this leaves my mouth feeling kind of chalky. I like the results, but I don't know. It didn't do enough for me. But I hated whitening my teeth, like with the strips, even though I know I should. Um, so this was like, okay. I would repurchase. I feel like I was very wishy-washy on that. I would repurchase, but right now I have not. I've been obsessed with the TheraBreath. I love the results that that gives me. It just leaves my mouth feeling so good without burning. Phenomenal. This guy, this is the EOS Shea Butter, Shea Better Butter, whatever, shave gel, shave cream. I liked this a lot. Honestly, I did just decide to try a shave oil though this time around, but I would repurchase this again. I've gone through so many of these in the past. I go through stages where I like want to use a shave cream and I don't. Sometimes my legs easily irritate and sometimes they don't. Um, but I found that I was using my body wash and I use like an expensive or body wash. So I was like, I don't want to keep using that for shaving. So these are like three bucks, but I did just try the Tree Hut shave oil. I'm using that currently and I really like that. So that's what I purchased over this. We'll see by the time I'm done with the shave oil, my thoughts. Um, but I did like this because it's a moisturizing, it's like a lotion, think of like a lotion um, shave cream. And I like that it has pump. It was nice to use. I liked it a lot. Smells nice. This is the vanilla, I want to say. And it smelled nice. Um, I felt like it lasted me a while as well. But currently, like I said, I'm using a shave oil and I will let you know what I think about that when I'm done. This next guy, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is in every single one of my empties now. It's the Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. It's my all-time favorite lotion. I feel like if I could create a product, like if somebody came up to me and they're like, let's create a product, it would be body lotion. I have a serious passion for good body lotion, and it's really hard to find lotions that sink into my skin, hydrate my skin, don't leave it feeling tacky and yuck, and just, uh, this is one of my favorites. So, yes, you can buy this at Target. Sometimes Amazon has it, um, or Naturium.com. It's one of my favorite non-scented, kind of like a body butter, but it comes in a pump, so I like it. It's not as thick, it, 
soaks into the skin Phoebe nicely and I like that it's non scented Next guy, this guy, this is the Tan Lux the Butter. These last me years and years. I'm currently using the Isle of Paradise. I switch between this and the Isle of Paradise. The Isle of Paradise is typically cheaper, but it's really hard to get your hands on it because I don't think they sell that one anymore. I don't know, it's hard. But it's not the same as the little tube of green. It's just different, okay? You have to get it in the big thing if you want it. But anyway, if you can't find the Isle of Paradise, which I couldn't for a while, and I found like one on Amazon randomly, I was buying this, and this is really good. It's a gradual-esque tanner. It doesn't say that it is, or no, this actually does say it's gradual, yeah. It also has a sheen to it. I swear Tan Lux and Isle of Paradise are the same company. They're probably not, but they like Tan Lux or Tan Lux is the original, I feel like Isle of Paradise rips them off, but whatever. Um, you can get this, I was just trying to find a link for this, this can be hard to find sometimes, QVC, it's 38 bucks. This will literally last you forever, you don't need a ton. It's been my go-to for the past like two-ish months, I've been using this and just, it gives you the beautiful, most beautiful glow. In my opinion, it does smell. Tan Lux, though, all of their products do not have a color guard, so they're not, like, transfer-proof. Or they're transfer-proof. They don't rub off on your sheets and stuff like that. So, big fan of this. Love it. The smell is gross. I think any tanning smell is gross, but the results are amazing. So, yes, 10 out of 10, recommend this. And it's one of those where you can build it or you can just put it on if you're really pale and you'll notice a difference in the morning. It's not like Jurgens where, like, it takes like the entire bottle to see a difference. Like you see a difference immediately. You wash your hands. It's good. I'm obsessed. And I would repurchase that again. Like I said, I have the Isle of Paradise right now, but I would repurchase that again. This I've already repurchased. This is the Skin Smart Antimicrobial Facial Spray. I feel like this has made a huge impact on my skin. Now I have a breakout right on my chin right there. You probably can see her. I popped her. Um, that's because my period's coming. But Besides that, this helps not with hormonal acne, which is why I pointed that out. This helps with bacterial acne, which I can suffer from. So whether you just break out from dirt or sweat on your skin, if you feel like, um, I don't know, oils, whatever it is, this kills the bacteria that lingers on your skin and bacteria is what creates pimples. It goes into those pores and it feeds on all those oils in your skin. It's good. It doesn't dry my skin out. It is just a pleasure to use. And like I said, I've already purchased another one. It's a dupe for the Tower 28 um, Hydrochloris. Hydrochloris? Isn't it Hydrochloris? What's it called? Hydrochloris? Yeah, Hydrochloris Acid. I also use this. My son had like a scrape on his lip or something like below his chin and I sprayed this on it gone it helps for healing things as well so if you do break out i feel like it helps heal the breakout a little bit more so i just sprayed on there i did already this morning you can spray it over makeup spray it over sunscreen spray it before you've done anything it's amazing you only want to make sure that you do not mix it with any sorts of vitamin like vitamin e which is or vitamin a which is retinol you do not want to use it on the same nights that you use retinol and you don't want to use it on the same mornings that you use vitamin c so i tend to spray it on like before I go to the gym, after I go to the gym, if I'm gonna be sitting in my makeup for, or sitting in my skin, my sunscreen for a while, or on nights where I'm doing ex chemical exfoliation, different things, you just don't wanna mix it with vitamin C. It's not that it would cause a bad reaction, it just cancels it out, so. Why would you want to do that, you know? Um, this guy, Pureology. This is the Hydrate Conditioner. I'm still working through this shampoo. I This was the first brand that I switched to from using Olaplex for years and years. But you guys, I've been using Pantene Pro-V. Zero difference, okay? Zero difference. It's good. If you're wanting to invest in a shampoo and conditioner, I recommend this over the, the Olaplex. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's lasted me a really long time. Um, but I think I'm over high-end shampoo and conditioner. Something I'm not over because I buy this. This is on my Amazon subscription. That's how you know you love something, right? This is the DHC deep cleansing oil. Nothing better. It truly removes all my makeup. It's my first step cleanser. Do not think that this is a cleanser though. Like you need to remove the oil off of your skin afterwards. I was for a while and I think that was causing me to break out when I like 
first moved here a year ago. Um, first of all, I switched from this and I switched from my cleanser, but I was using this on as just my cleanse. And if I wasn't wearing makeup, like I was using this to remove my SPF and then I wasn't going in with a foaming cleanser. Mistake, but this is amazing. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I, I go through one of those every single month. If you are not new here, you're probably sick of me talking about it. Um, this is another thing that's, I think this is my, this is my third one, second one. I can't remember. I'm on subscription for this as well. This is the JS Health Hair and Libido. One thing I will tell you with this girl is like my armpits and my legs, those hairs, I wish you could target. But I do think that it's been making my hair thicker. It's probably a placebo, but I don't care. I love it. And the libido part, it works, okay? I'm just saying it works, okay? Um, next is the Summer Friday uh, Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, headed into the winter, fall months, I've been wanting to get more of like a cream instead of just a gel because this is truly a gel cream, a gel in my opinion. Um, but I really like this. It had a very subtle, soft smell, but I love Summer Friday, and um, they have a new moisturizer that just came out, which I would be curious to try. It looks like it's going to be a heavier, thicker cream. Currently, I'm using the Kiehl's one, but I would repurchase that. I think it's a great summertime moisturizer, or if you're super oily, I think that's a really good gel-based moisturizer. This guy has been my, like, holy grail for the last couple of months. I can't believe I didn't talk about this in a favorites. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. Um, their Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. This is good. It is so thick and, like, the weirdest consistency. I felt like I was never using this because it goes back to flat. You know when you like dip it, dig it out, like it goes back flat by the next time you use it. And I was like, am I even using this? It was a beautiful purple color, but besides that, it was just very calming. I really felt like this hydrated my skin. And since running out of it, I'm so sad. I'm currently using the Snail Mucin one. Doesn't compare to this. I think I'm gonna repurchase this. I really like this. Um, comparable to this, I really enjoy the Fresh Night Cream as well, but I think I will repurchase this again. I'm gonna give my Snail Mucin, um, moisturizer a couple more tries to see what I'm thinking about it, but I just feel like it's not thick enough for me. Um, I love the serum, but the moisturizer doesn't feel thick enough. But this, if you're looking for a thick nighttime cream, this is, it's so good. And yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed. Um, this guy, this is a Naked and Thriving Prevent Face Oil. I love Naked and Thriving's oil. They're pricey. I did do a video with them like a really long time ago and I'm still working through some of the products this, like, that they sent me, but this is so freaking good. These oils are like, they don't break me out. They are very like soothing. They have a very medi like, um, not medicinal, a very like herbal scent, if you will. I'm currently using the restorative one. It's like orange right now. Um, I would repurchase these oils. I think that they're really good. They're really pricey, but a little bit goes a long way. These just are so nice as a finishing step in your skincare. I really enjoyed it. And I like that the, the dropper is glass and the bottle is glass. I don't know. It's just, it's nice. And I'm a fan. And I like that I can see how much oil is left still. So big fan of that. And yeah, I'm still using one of their oils, so I would definitely recommend Naked and Thriving if you're looking for a good facial oil. I realized that the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil was kind of breaking me out. I don't know if it was too heavy for my skin or what, the maracuja, but that did not affect my skin at all, um, besides in a good way. Next thing, I have decided that this is just... I'm going to be just repurchasing for this for the rest of my time. And finally, it is now on Amazon subscribe and save. So I have added this to my subscribe and save, meaning it is coming to my door every month and I love it. It is the tinted um, SPF UV Daily by Elta MD. It's my favorite. It literally acts like a skin tint for me. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything, but it gives me good coverage. It doesn't break me out. I can layer it. It's just, my favorite and it's my first thing that I put on in the morning I don't even put moisturizer on before I go to the gym I just put that on and it's so good I wanted to love this one it was just a little too thick it gave good coverage that's yeah I wanted it to be the Elta MD dupe I liked it for a little while it's just not the same I know it's so much cheaper but it's just not the same 
um, in my opinion. And I don't agree with this color code that they have here. This was really dark on my skin and I have probably like, I don't know, the middle skin tone, so. And it's orange, so I don't think it would work for any others skin tones. I didn't, I wasn't a fan. Another skincare product I have is, I believe, I got these at um, Mitsuwa, the Japanese market, but this is a Japanese sheet mask. You can get these on Amazon. This is the Barrier Repair um, line, and this is specifically the brightening one. I loved these. I forgot to put so many of these in this bin, but this is the one I remembered, but this came in a giant box and I really like them. I think these are a nice sheet mask. Very comparable in terms of like hydration to my Dr. Jart um, Ceramidin. It's good. I really like it and I would repurchase those, but I have a ton, so I don't need to. This guy I got in like a sample kit when I bought from Ulta. It's the Avene Thermal Water. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed this. I'm like, it's spray water, but it's good spray water. And I liked applying this before applying like my snail mucin or my hyaluronic acid. So it was nice to have like water and it was cooling, but I'm like, it's water. Girl, get it together. Spray yourself with a squirt bottle, you know? But it was really, really good. So yeah, I do, I do like it. I would repurchase it if it wasn't like $14 for a bottle of water. This guy, this is the Elginist Alive Prebiotic Balancing Mask. I've had this for a while in my collection and I really love this. There are some times when I do wanna do a mask that I don't really have a ton of skin concerns besides like maybe brightening and just like overall, just like toning, whatever. But a lot of brightening masks have acids in them, so I can't use those on nights that I'm doing an acid or retinol or whatever. So I wanted a mask that was just very like balancing. And that's exactly what this was. It has clay in it, so I feel like it does soak up oil, but it also leaves your skin very bright. It's not drying. It was green to start with, and then you rubbed it in and it turned pink, hence the green with the pink, you know? Um, I really enjoyed this a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm sad that they are no longer carrying this at Sephora. It was 50% off. Um, I don't know if they still have it in stores, but online you can't purchase it. So they're not getting rid of it. I don't think they're carrying it in Sephora anymore. It's a pricey brand, but this mask was amazing and it's lasted me forever. So if you're looking for just a good balancing, just like makes your skin feel toned and tight and brightened, this was everything. Um, speaking of brightening, this guy right here, this is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% vitamin C serum. I got this when they were doing it like 15% off at Sephora. I don't think it's worth the price. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I really like it. I like the thickness, the creaminess, the, I, I like it a lot. I just, it's like $122, which is nuts for 1.7 fluid ounces. It's crazy. It's vitamin C. Um, I'm currently using for, instead of vitamin C, I'm currently trying out copper peptides and I'm trying out, or not trying out, I went back to the Good Molecules um, discoloration serum. So I don't think I would never purchase this again. I just think it's really freaking expensive. So if they had 50% off again, heck yeah, I would repurchase it. I just don't know if it's worth full price. Um, this guy right here, this is the Garnier Micellar Water 4-in-1 Brightening. I wanted to try this out and I don't, I don't like micellar water. <laughs> I just don't. I like wanted to because I feel like I hadn't used my cellar water in years and I was like, oh, that has brightening effects in it. No, I didn't really enjoy it. So I wouldn't repurchase that. I'm going to stick with my oil cleanser. This dry shampoo, I hate how much I love it. I really have gotten away from using dry shampoos as much and really focusing on just washing my hair more, especially now that it's short, shorter. Um, I keep saying that, but it's been a year since I've had short hair. So I don't know if that even applies anymore, but this is my favorite if I'm not, and not washing my hair every day. And also, I mean, I'm sure you could tell, I touch my hair like a ridiculous amount um, for an average person, but I mean, it's because I'm just constantly fixing my hair. Touching my hair, okay? So it gets greasy really fast. So this is my favorite dry shampoo. This is the Living Proof Perfect Day Hair Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. It's $33, it's stupid expensive, but it's really freaking good. I've already repurchased another one, um, yeah. It's good. It's the perfect everything in a dry shampoo. It gives you the grit, but it but it's still touchable. Um, it sucks up oil like no other. It's just, it's my fave. 
this boring toothpaste, the 3D white. This I will I repurchase over and over again. Um, I like this way better than the mouthwash. This guy I'm kind of sad about. Um, honestly, I've had this for a long time now. I want to say like two years, if not more. I don't remember. The Kosas Feathery Cloud Set. I already purchased another one of these. It's my favorite setting powder. Um, it just broke from both sides. It wouldn't have been a big deal. Like originally it broke from the top, so it just couldn't snap. No big deal. Next it broke from this. So it's like, I can't keep it sanitary. And I feel like that's kind of gross. Like, cause it just kept falling, flopping out and breaking off. But this was my favorite um, powder. And like I said, I've already bought it, bought it again. It's the Baked Powder by Kosas Feathery Set, or Cloud Set and Feathery. And to go with that, this little triangle sponge, I'm retiring this one. It's ripping at the ends. I cleaned it. We're on to the next one. Um, and then last but not least, I always share <laughs> a razor. I pretty much go through the, one of these like every single month, if not every other month. I shave my legs a lot and clearly my armpits as well because I told you I'm taking those hair vitamins. So yeah, a Harry's razor. I love the Harry's razors from Target and um, the refill packages are just so affordable. So yeah, that's it. That is everything that I've used up over the past month of, oh my God, the end of August. Wow. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. I like making them. I hope you guys like watching them. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.